Hello, everyone. This is、uh, Jim Gao from、uh, Team Hex.、Uh, today, I'm very excited to announce that、uh, we released a version 0.0.23 of the Hex extension in Google Chrome Store. And the reason for that is、uh, version 23 allows users to interface with their Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. So right now, users can store their H bars using a Ledger Nano S or X. Um, and、uh, for this video,、uh, we're gonna just do a simple walkthrough, showing you how to do that. So first of all,、uh, you gotta have a Ledger Nano S or X, and you wanna connect this with with your computer. And for those who have not downloaded the Hex extension, please go to myhex.io and click download. It's gonna bring you to Google Chrome Store, where you can download the extension. For the rest of us, the extension is already automatically pushed onto your previous version. So if you click on the extension, you see that the version is updated to twenty three already. From here, we click、uh, to enter the dashboard, and we see there's a connect hardware wallet button. We just click on this. It's going to bring us to the interface of、uh, of the hardware wallet.、Um, We scroll down. We, we're not going to do import wallet because the hardware wallet, the ledger itself, doesn't have an account yet. So we're going to create an account first using the ledger,、um, using the ledger Nano S. We click here and choose create wallet, and we click connect, and、um, it's going to have this window pop up, and you select Nano S and say connect. Okay, so if this error, it just means you need to sign in to the、uh, Ledger Nano S. So, so for this one, I need to input the、uh, the code. Okay. All right. So it says. On here says awaiting commands. That that means it's ready to 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 receive the command from from Hashgraph Exchange. So we're gonna click back. I'm gonna try this again. Connect hardware wallet. Let's say create. And、uh, here it says if you're using the hardware wallet, watch out for the prompts, and it's gonna prompt you on the hardware wallet.、Um, it's gonna prompt you. I'll show you. On the hardware wallet, and what you do is you just click through it. Export public key number zero. You click yes. It's going to show you the public key. And it's going to bring you to the、uh, create wallet interface. You enter your email. You know,、uh, create a. You you need a brand new email. Uh, that you have not used on Hex before to create a, an an account, and it's going to mail you a, a authentication code just like before, and、um, then you hit next. We're going to name this wallet as the Ledger Nano S. You can choose whatever name. Select the network. We're going to choose Mainnet. Create password. There's no limitation on the password, and、uh, this is where you paste the、uh, email confirmation code. This is the six digit, and we're gonna hit confirm. Okay, it's gonna again, you know, here's gonna prompt you different commands on the on the hardware wallet itself, and、uh, you're you're gonna see it new commands here. Now you're gonna click through them again and confirm. So while I've already created a new wallet with this account ID, and you just Copy this ID, jog it down, write it somewhere, or、um, you know, store it somewhere. And here, if you click here to copy, you're not gonna be able to copy the private key nor the mnemonic of the wallet of the account. And the reason for that is because you're using your hardware wallet to, to sign every transaction. You don't have any purview into into these information. But all you need is really just the account ID to lock to import this、uh, account from your hardware wallet into Hex. So if you can clear here to copy, but if you 
um, paste it, it's not going to show anything. So here we're going to go to dashboard and then we have a, a starting balance of 1.2 H bars. So this is your Legend Nano S account that's on the Legend Nano S. So let's say that um, we want to send, you know, you can, you can actually receive H bars using, using this account. Right now we only support the um, storage of H bars and none of the HTS tokens. So for example, hex tokens, you cannot store it using, using um, uh, the Nano S, but for H bars, you can do that. And you can actually send it too. So let's say you want to send one H bar to any account. And you want to send one. And every time we're going to charge a transaction, you know, using the hardware wallet, uh, 0 0.1 H bars. So we're going to send one H bar to another account. We're going to click send. You're going to see new set of commands. And you, you just click through them. Confirm. And there's going to another set of commands. Confirm. And another set. Okay, I'm just clicking through them, okay? Confirm. These are just different uh, fees that uh, Hedera charges. So after everything, you know, we click through everything, it's going to say send HBAR successfully. And, and uh, you can go back. The, the balance still shows this because if you refresh, because we have a, such a low balance, it's going to give you an error. So, you, so to be able to see the true balance, you need to send more HBARs to, to your account. So right now, you know, all the transactions out of this wallet, this account has to be signed, has to be signed using the Nano S. And, um, you know, this way it's almost becoming a, becoming a custodial solution. Uh, you, you can actually store your H bars very safely in, you know, you using a, a combination with hash graph exchange, the extension, also the, um, the Legend Nano S, um, and that's actually one of our um, services we're providing now is to provide this custodial solution to people who would like to store their H bars safely. To provide the service, you know, we're going to charge an annual fee of one percent. Charge it in H bars, or you can do it yourself. But I, you know, I understand many people. Um, they're not really familiar with using hardware wallets. They might not feel comfortable. So, you know, in that case, feel free to uh, use our service. Um, and, uh, you know, we fully guarantee the H bars you entrust us with will not be lost. Um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and um, try, try it out. Try out the, uh, the hardware wallet function and let us know what you think.